I'm Natalia Brusilovsky, former Healthy Neighborhoods community organizer, volunteer. Uh, the, the particular project is using resident chefs to participate in creating a cookbook in, and include making community art. So through these arts brunches, we are enjoying food together, making art together, and then at the end of it, we're going to have an arts cookbook just for Chum. So when we finally publish it, um, after the seven months of arts brunches, we'll have seven months of recipes, and we'll have seven months of different types of art, which promotes healthy eating, of course, nutritious, cost-effective, breakfast and lunch meals. Um, oftentimes, people forget about breakfast and lunch and kind of concentrate on dinner and then end up eating junk food for breakfast or lunch. Damn so the, yeah, so the residents hand in recipes, literally just like hand us recipes. And um, we have a resident that is a nutritionist for the school district contracted for this project uh, to compile those recipes into nutritious meals. So four or five at a time. And then those residents bring three neighbors each. And so then we have about 20 people to come together and eat and make art. Well, this, this all started because uh, of the wonderful opportunity that the Baltimore Community Fund and Kresge um, offered for the citizens of Baltimore. And I got together with some of my community leaders and said, you know, let's do this and, um, and let's get some more art and chum. It's very important to get art and chum. We don't have a lot of art here now. We don't have after school programs at Montebello Elementary School. The lack of art in this particular community to me is deafening. <laughs> um, and so I've been kind of steadily trying to continue to make sure that art stays in the community or at least kind of seeps in at some point. So the, I got together with some community leaders uh, and said, what do we want to do? And everybody said, let's eat. Let's eat together. Everybody eats together. How else are we going to get bring people together than eat? And, um, and one of our community leaders is a chef, is a former chef. Um, and so, you know, we started talking about making a cookbook and using culinary arts as our art form that we were going to use and really teaching the community about art. We, the whole point of this is to get bring people together to make things together and learn about each other in a different way and think about things in, in hopefully a more creative way. A friendlier community is just simply a better community. A community that knows each other is simply a safer community. It's also, you know, a multi-generational project, which is important to me. One of the things that I saw as I was community organizing was that there, there was not that much connection between young and old. Yeah, there's a lot of tension. And so hopefully, you know, as people get to know each other, make art together and eat together, that some of that will be relieved.